For the past 134 years, there has been baseball in Keokuk. It's a love affair that has endured. Baseball has given its best to Keokuk, and Keokuk in turn has given its very best to baseball. When baseball was young, it was nurtured in Keokuk's green fields. And as it grew older, Keokuk's commitment and love of the game grew stronger. From the very beginning, in Keokuk, professional baseball was a hit. By 1885, the Keokuk Hawkeyes were a dominant force in the Western League, a minor league supplying players to the then burgeoning National League. But the most important player on the team, the reason Keokuk baseball is forever enshrined in Major League Baseball's Hall of Fame, is second baseman Bud Fowler. The first black man to ever play professional baseball suited up for the Keokuk Nine, 62 years before Jackie Robinson. Of course, when they came here to town, uh the story went that uh, they didn't know he was black until he got off the train at the depot and uh, the guy, the, the manager went down picked him up and, and played him anyway. Keokuk's connection to baseball flourished from 1901 to 1915 when Keokuk boasted numerous teams in the Iowa State League and the Mississippi Valley League and later with Sandlot teams like the Cherry Blossoms, a team that produced Jack Saltzgaver who after honing his skills in Keokuk was good enough to play for five years with the New York Yankees alongside Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. It was considered a step up. Saltzgaver probably would have been a star on any other team, but he relished his role as a utility player on the mighty New York Yankees. At the time, he was the highest paid backup player in all of baseball. Another pretty good Keokuk ball player went on to play for the Yankees. His name was Roger Maris, only he spelled it M-A-R-A-S at the time. Maris hit 315 with 32 home runs and 111 RBI for the Keokuk Colonels in 1954. It was the last season of his baseball career where he used the original family spelling of his name. He officially changed the spelling to M-A-R-I-S in April 1955. He didn't like the way the last name was pronounced with him going into the majors or uh, with it being Maris, they might take it for Maras or just the pronunciation he didn't like at all. Very few pieces of baseball memorabilia remain with the original Maris spelling. In 1958, Keokuk was the site of a baseball first and last the game's only talking home plate. Keokuk management installed a microphone underneath a specially screened home plate so the fans could hear the sounds of the game. But the sounds of the game turned out to be too profane for the average fan. The talking home plate lasted just a couple of games. And it was out of there. Tim McCarver came to play for the Keokuk Cardinals in 1959 as a $50,000 bonus baby. He was 17 years old. By the end of the year, he was playing in the majors. By the beginning of the 1960s, the glory years of professional baseball were coming to an end in Keokuk. After hosting minor league teams for the Indians, the Pirates, the Cardinals, and finally the Dodgers, the major league affiliation ended in 1962. In a money dispute, the Dodgers moved their minor league team to Dubuque, Iowa, and put an end to Keokuk's professional baseball connection 77 years after it began. Other major leaguers would still pass through Keokuk on the way to the show. Paul and Rick Russell, they played Legion ball in the Gate City. Bill Madlock played at the Southeastern Community College in 1968. The three-time NL batting champion has the distinction of being the last major leaguer with professional roots in Keokuk so far. One day, professional baseball may return to Keokuk. If it does, baseball will find the history and spirit is as alive today and as young here as it was when it began, way back when it was a gentleman's game. <laughs>